judging the AR House Awards, the jury came together to choose from a huge selection of houses from around the world the house that they feel is um, the best house from the last five years. My role as the jury chair is to help the jury to reach consensus and decide on a common set of criteria in choosing the winner. The judging was, it was very enjoyable because we didn't really, and it should be this way for an awards program. It wasn't about arguing, it was really about discussing what we thought was important. There were different perspectives, of course, but somehow I think the criteria that we agreed on is very common. I thought it would be maybe more divi divided, but it wasn't. I find the jury very interesting because there was a lot of diversity, but at the same time we end up uh, coming together a lot. You know, we talked about what were we looking for, and we were looking for houses that somehow resonated with the geographic condition of where they were made, but also maybe something about the social condition. They wanted a house that would be well built. They wanted to feel surprised or excited by what they saw or delighted. They wanted the materials to be carefully selected and chosen. Um, they wanted the house to be somehow subversive and they wanted it to be unpretentious. So the winner that they chose um, in the end was Phelan House by David Chipperfield Architects. One reason we picked it was because all of the resources of this project had within it were deployed so effectively and that it avoids so many of the issues of pomposity and representation. What's interesting in that project, I think, is this way to put together uh, fragments of vocabulary to negotiate with a complicated site. Uh, but it also takes some of the most normal elements and manipulates them in a way that, that they do push certain boundaries of, of what a house is. I think the house that we picked as the winner really manages in quite a discreet way to place a very large and luxurious uh, house into a very special landscape. The highly commended project was Rebirth House. The jury were really delighted by this very small house. They found it quite whimsical, quite surprising, and they were very enthusiastic about the fact that it had been rebuilt out of demolished um, materials that they had chosen to put back some of the traditional elements and mix them with the new. Well, this is a project of a completely different nature and scale, definitely. Uh, but we all, I think, were enchanted by the care with which it was done. And that was a particular favourite of mine. There was something intriguing about the house, and then when we looked back and read what the history of it is, it's this house that's replacing a very historic house within this small family compound and which reuses fabric from the original house. We chose one which was really different from the others because it has some elements of recycling uh, memory, it has memory, it has recycle, it has use of contemporary materials together with traditional materials. So this kind of hybrid uh, quote condition was found interesting by the whole jury and I was happy with it. And finally, the jury commended Compact Karst House, which was in the Slovenian landscape. They felt that it came from the place. They were quite interested in these projects and their location in that relationship. And they felt like this one um, had a really lovely materiality and felt like it's, it sprang from the landscape somehow. It's a very individual and independent approach to architecture, which is very neat, very minimal on one side, but also taking into account memory and tradition on the other side. So I think it's a good object, and this object is very much speaking to those who look at it. It's more of a, I think that the material aspect of that project is very important. Uh, it was, I think it's very well solved. It's a very careful project. But it also, it, it manages to combine elements that are local uh, in a way that we can all relate to. It's in a country which is kind of picking up again what it means to make architecture there. And it felt like a house which was coming from traditions. And I think for, from the three projects that we've selected, they certainly have a, an innocence because I hope to be surprised by projects that that emerge without knowing if they'll ever be published or not. You know, that's not the aim of the projects.